and welcome to the moon. I wanted to take everyone on a quick tour of the moon here on Google Earth and uh, let's just say this is going to be a quick moon 101 tour for those that haven't been doing a lot of research uh, on the moon. I've been spending a lot of time on Mars so let's look at the moon and uh, obviously if you have Google Earth you can go up here to the little icon and click on the moon and that will take you to Google Moon and uh, when you get started here you can zoom in and we're going to focus on uh, Tycho Crater which is the um, on the near side of the moon that you can normally see, see with the naked eye and it's the big white crater with the rays uh, anyone can see that from uh, from Earth and uh, there is, luckily for us, a high-resolution area that we could look at. As you zoom in, it's one of the only ones that has a high-res area. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is you go up here to your direction, and let's put that to due west, or I'm sorry, east. So the uh, 3 o'clock position. That's important to get the right viewing angle. Then we're going to zoom in, and hopefully you will have this uh, high res area there to look at. If not, you need to come up here and click on uh, your sidebar and click on, I think it's featured images or something. Uh, moon Gallery, I'm not sure which one it is, but get that opened up. Um, and uh, the, the Tycho Crater is, uh, let's take a quick measurement, it's approximately 50 miles across so it's 50 miles in diameter pretty pretty much circular so uh, you know what you're looking at there and this is um, there's a lot going on at Tycho Crater I like to call it Tycho City this is 50 miles across and it is a very busy busy underground city and I'll start with the more obvious things in the middle there is a lot of these uh, hills and so forth or they look like hills some of them are real and some of them are artificial. And let's start with zooming in here. And I hopefully you can see this area here. Uh, this is looking down, of course. Um, let me just do a little quick zoom in here so show you something real obvious. And then we could back it out. But I could hope you could see this, uh, which you know looks a lot like a rocket. On a, on a stand, but it could also be just some sort of a tower. I don't know why you'd need a rocket uh, if you have advanced technologies up there, but there is does appear to be a rocket, as you can see here. Um, also, m large buildings. Um, keep, keep in mind we're way up in the space looking down, so uh, if you zoom in too far, it'll just get pixelated, but you can see uh, buildings here. This is a large hangar type structure, um, which goes in here. Up here, there's another hangar with something hanging out. This is an underground area entrance. Uh, looking down on this area, you can see this darker area is the base of this base. Here you have something that comes out that almost looks like a terminal type building with an actual aircraft sitting here. I zoom in, you can kind of get the feel for that. There's lots of support buildings and seems like vehicles and things there. And this, I believe, is just an artificial hangar, which is quite large, and it's probably been there for a long time. Um, there's even a logo, can you see this up here, which can be seen from the air. Quite interesting. Um, you can't really see the detail here, but this this is a like a face of a woman with hair, almost an Egyptian style, uh, on the front of this structure. And then if you look down here, there's a lot of carved. This is something I think that's been up there for you know thousands of years, and I'm not sure who's using it now, but. That's one place to start. Um, again, as you move around, you'll see, uh, let me back out again here. 
there's a lot of these things that look like bumps, uh, these rocks or boulders or whatever they are. They're actually all underground or above ground buildings. Uh, unfortunately, uh, our friends at NASA decided to blur all these out so you can't see the detail, unfortunately, but if you zoom in a bit, you definitely can see that these are structures and you can see doors and windows and openings. And uh, This one you could actually even see has a face carved into the front of it. Uh, these are quite large. This, is, this one in particular uh, is you know, almost a mile across. So as you look at that, you can come down here, you see also these little lines that look like they're cracks all over the ground. These are some sort of transportation. Here's another building here. These are all buildings, all these little bumps. Uh, all you need to do is zoom in a bit and you'll see the cement symmetry of the buildings. Uh, it's just too bad we can't get more detail, but uh, somebody doesn't want us to see those. Let's flip back a little bit and uh, here's, a, here's a large, pretty much pick any of these and zoom in and you'll realize that these are all underground structures. Look at the size of this one. Uh, this is all one big underground. Think of a big shopping mall because this is a mile and a half across by three quarters of a mile. Um, here's an opening here. Here's a square type of structure down here, the openings here. Uh, if you look across, this looks like it's actually a road with a vehicle on it. Not sure what this is, some sort of a causeway or something. And at the end of it is a little aircraft. How about that? In this little area. All around here, of course, these are all buildings. This is a, another underground structure. Uh, this is a big, big city. Um, let me show you some of my favorite areas. I don't want to spend too long. I want you to go in and explore this for yourself. I'm just surprised. I see so many videos of, uh, look at this rock that kind of looks like this or that when you have an entire city here. Um, how about this temple type complex? Here's a, I'm going to try to move the angle a little bit so you get a better perspective. This is a large, almost like a pyramid type structure. And if you look closely, it has a head, carved head on the top. Here's an entrance. It's almost, uh, you can see lots of carved, it almost does look like a pyramid. And then across here, there's another large building structure. And if you back it out, you can see that it's a full large temple complex. Unfortunately, it's all been blurred out. And so we can't see the details on these buildings. Once again, all these cracks and lines, I believe, is some sort of transportation or possibly for lighting underground. I'm not sure. Uh, all of these bumps and things are underground structures. Uh, let me see if I could find some interesting things over in this area for you. Here we have... Uh, more elaborate buildings. And if you use your measuring tool, you'll see these are all buildings. These are all uh, quite large. They're, they're facilities, really. As we back away here, uh, I wanted to show you a pretty clear... Here we go. This area, and you can get the coordinates down here, down below, uh, if you freeze your video and take a look. Um, this is a big facility here. This white area is underground, is a covered area. Then in the middle here, looks like this is a kind of a top of a facility. This is a hangar entrance and you could even see a aircraft right here. Uh, can you see that? Hopefully that's pretty obvious to everyone. You do have to have a decent monitor to see that, but Um, pretty sure that's not a rock. <laughs> uh, more facilities here. 
uh, bases, things like that. This is a large underground facility with a yard in front here where there's openings, large, more, many more buildings here. Anyway, take a look around. Uh, once you realize that these bumps on the surface here are actual buildings, then you can start exploring and you'll, you'll be amazed at what you find. And of course up here is where we started and that is a pretty obvious. Let's get our angle back a little bit better here. I'll leave you with the base and the rocket on at Tycho City. Take a look at that. Let me know what you think.